Hello, my beautiful earth signs. How are you? It is B. Welcome to my channel, Psychic Sounds by B. Thank you so much for joining me. This particular reading is for earth signs of Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. This is going to be your psychic tarot for the upcoming week of December 28th through January 3rd. We're going to get right into it. Thanks for the likes, the shares, and subscribe. If you would like to get a membership to my website, the link is below. If you would like to donate to my website, the link is below. You don't have to. Your, your gratitude sometimes is just as worth it for me as the money. So I do appreciate that. Whatever you feel inclined to do, go for it. All right. I am still booked. I will not be adding any new slots until for about maybe... I'll probably add some new slots in about two or three weeks. Okay. All right. Like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you give me a big old thumbs up. Share these videos and subscribe to my channel. As many of you know, these are my uh, channel, my platform. It is going to be going through a series of changes. So just bear with me as I go through those changes. Like to have you join me. All right, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. What have we got for you, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo? What's your energy? First card, second card. I'll pull a lot more cards as we go, okay? Your first card is the Five of Cups. So Earth sign, something is coming up here where someone really regrets something. Someone didn't do a good job. Someone feels as though they're not able to support something the way that they want to support something. Someone feels as though maybe you've let them down, Earth sign, or they let you down. There's a level of truth associated with this card. This feels as though someone lied about you. You lied about someone else. You said somebody said something that they didn't say that type of energy, but it is coming up here. Remember, there are two cups behind you. These two cups are friendship cups. These are engagements. These are um, camaraderie. These are uh, loving energies, loving emotions that you share with others. A Leo person may have something to do with this. This is that number five. So the Leo energy is all about romance, children, creativity, risk-taking. So something regarding those characteristics may have happened where there's a level of regret or a level of toxic energy that maybe somebody points out to you is in your vicinity, in your environment. And it's like, you know, it's almost like I feel for some reason, or sign like someone saying, don't ever do that again. Or you're telling somebody else, don't ever do that again. It feels as though it is almost like a loving um how do I want to say this? It's like a loving chastising in a way. Like when you chastise someone, you kind of, you know, mentally or um, through dialogue punish them. But it, it feels like it's more of a disappointment. It's not that you don't love them any less or they don't love you any less. It's like it's a level of disappointment for some reason. So I'm um, just coming up the way it's coming up. This is what I'm getting. Okay. So what is your second card? Oh, my it is the Seven of Swords. So as it relates to the Seven of Swords, or sign, this is stealing. This is moving ideas, moving information, copyright, whatever, from one place to another. Uh, I would be really careful with this, or sign, because it looks as though that somebody is getting caught. Um, oh my gosh, they're going straight into it. Earth sign, someone is taking information from one location to another. And they are, they think they're getting away with something, but they're walking right into all this regret, this loss, and this pain. It had something to do with dialogue, truth, lies, deceit, uh, cheating, trying to get one over on somebody, uh, speaking on someone else's behalf without asking their permission. Um, breaking the stalemate is what I'm hearing here. This is a seven, my beautiful earth signs. This has everything to do with business partnerships, romantic partnerships, um, fairness, justice, equality. I mean, look at this earth sign. What's going on here? 
being sneaky, tiptoeing around, needing to move something from place to place. Be careful, earth signs. Because it feels like someone is manipulating dialogue or someone is manipulating the words or someone is using the words in a certain way that cause a level of disappointment. Okay, let's see what's going on with the Toth, my beautiful earth signs. After this, I'll pull in psychic downloads, then I'll pull in the individuals for each of the signs. Energy into the deck, please. Okay, cutting the deck. The first card, Earth Signs, is art. This is the new Aeon. That's what this is. No, it's not really that. It's more of, we already have the new Aeon. Art is more of kind of the mixing and the matching. Fire and ice. Let's keep going. What's the next card? Truce. The Four of Swords is Truce. Some of you earth signs are hearing information. You're hearing dialogue. You're hearing someone say something to you that you need to take into serious consideration. They don't mean to do it because they're mean, okay? They're not mean. They're doing it because they're trying to let you understand or trying to teach you how to eliminate toxic energy in your life, how to take the um, antithesis and the thesis and make the synthesis, okay? They're showing you about the energy. They're showing you how to manipulate the energy. They're showing you how to use the energy to your advantage. And the thing is, is this isn't really spell work. It can be, but for the majority of you, this is all about how you use your words and in what context, okay? I think someone stopped you from doing something that is causing you to cycle problems in your life. That's what it feels like to me. Somebody is providing you with information, dialogue, intellectual property, whatever, in order to use that to call a truce in a situation, earth sign. And it may have something to do with needing to make sure that um, you get rid of the toxic energy and you keep the energy around you that's going to support you through this, um, this new synthesis of energy, this new production, this new, this new product, okay? Interesting. Wow, earth signs. Let's get into the beautiful Capricorns. What's your energy, Capricorns? Capricorns. The thinking woman. So Capricorns, you might be dealing with someone who's an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, or uh, Venus, or Jupiter. Uh, the thing about it is, look at all those books. There might be some gift of books. Maybe you got books for uh, as a gift for Christmas, or someone you love got uh, books for Christmas. This person thinks, this, per this person is very analytical. They are constantly thinking. They're constantly trying to understand how words impact the manifestation of energies. And this may be very well what you're doing. Maybe you're watching your words or sign. Um, I'm sorry, Capricorn. Maybe you're watching your words. Maybe somebody wants you to watch their words or watch your words. This is a 47, breaks down to an 11, which is all about the portal energy. It's all about the structure and it's all about the partnerships, the business partnerships, the romantic partnerships. I really believe that there's energy here where you're going to be introduced to some sort of energy that's going to give you an opportunity to be more stable in your structure, 
in your business partnerships, in your romantic partnerships, but what will you do with that energy once you receive it? It's telling me here that you need to take that particular um, event and analyze it, use it, mix it up a little bit and see how you can incorporate that into your life as a level of learning or as a level of evolution in your life. So let's see what's going on as it relates to your psychic downloads, Capricorn. I'll give everybody one psychic download, okay? Capricorn, you have a... This is really interesting, Capricorn. You're doing something in your life right now that it, this may very well apply to you. Um, you're doing something in your life right now that is cycling toxic energy over and over and over and over and over again. You know, sometimes, Capricorn, we think that we're doing what's best for everybody involved. But a lie is a lie. Cheating is cheating. Regret is regret. Okay? Universe doesn't know the difference, okay? Universe doesn't know if somebody's cheating at work. Universe doesn't know if somebody's cheating on their spouse. Universe doesn't know if somebody's cheating on their exam. It's cheating, okay? Lying, skipping around, trying to... You know, the thing is, Capricorn, I really feel like you or someone around you really doesn't like how somebody's handling their energy. They don't like how somebody is understanding the energy. It's like they're so stuck in their way that they don't know how to break out of it. And maybe you're helping them or they're trying to help you. But that's what I see here. Okay, that's what I see. An Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra might have something to do with this. There might be something about a log book as well. All right, Capricorn. So let's see what's going on with the Tauruses. Tauruses, what have we got? Woman holding a heart. So Taurus, um, this might be you. This might be somebody in your life, Taurus. But somebody is here and they really do want to have structure. They really do want to have stability. And they, they really do want to provide love. And they want to provide um, openness to a situation. But someone's not so sure about this anymore. Um, they feel as though someone is not being entirely truthful. So maybe you're not so sure about giving your love to somebody or somebody's not so sure about giving their love to you. This could be too, uh, Taurus, that somebody's drinking too much. Someone might be getting into the, the drink a little bit too heavily. And there might be something about, a, you know, a pretty significant compromise. Or maybe you're in, you're in a situation right now where you have to comp compromise a situation at work or in the family or whatever. And it's like once you're done with it, once you're done with the pain and the, once you're done with all of the back and forth, back and forth. It's like somebody found this like, oh my God, I'm going to go out and get a drink because I cannot even deal with this energy anymore. You know, I'm like, I, I need to get a drink. That that was just too much to deal with. Um, This could also be somebody showing you love by giving you a gift of alcohol as well. Taurus. And this is high end stuff. This is not stuff that is cheap. This is stuff that is, is, is pretty high end. You don't use a lot of it. Um, it's good for mixed drinks and all this other stuff, Taurus. So you're either getting this for a friend, Taurus, or someone's getting this for you. And you're going to like it, Taurus, because it's going to be like, wow, this person's got some style, got some taste, or they they know something good when they see it. Or you're the person that's going out and getting this high quality gift for someone. Taurus, someone might be getting a late Christmas gift here.
And it has something to do with um, intimacy, joint finances. A lot of stability here. You know, Taurus, it feels to me like someone's showing you a lot of stability. And maybe they do something right now in your life where maybe you feel like regretful about how you treated them in the past. And it and now it's like you're you're finally seeing them for who they really are. That's just what I'm getting, Taurus. All right, let's go ahead and let's move on to, and it could be water sign Taurus, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. So let's move on to um, Virgos. Virgos, what do we got going on with you? Virgos. Virgos. The Magician in the Mirror, Virgos. The Magician in the Mirror. This is Gemini energy, fire and ice. The mirror, something going on with mirrors, Virgo. Mirror images, an actual physical mirror. Maybe something having to do with a necklace or a medallion or an amulet, okay, Virgos. 53 breaks down to an eight, which is all about joint, joint finances and intimacy. It is a scorpionic energy. Virgo, someone may have, Virgo, something happened in your life where someone caught you doing something or you caught them doing something that was not good. And like either you or they tried to lie to you. Like they tried to lie to you or you tried to lie to them, but it didn't work. It's almost like they knew before it even happened. They're a magician. Okay, they're a white witch or they're, um, you know, a white warlock or something like that. Or maybe I should say good witch, good warlock, okay? Because I am seeing a lot of... This might be related. This might be, this might be around a night out on the town drinking or something having to do with coming over for drinks or wine or liquor of some sort. I know that sounds a little bit weird. Maybe there was an argument, a discussion around that. But I'm seeing drinking problems. I'm seeing somebody sneaking uh, drugs or alcohol into a situation or trying to um, hide alcohol. And then I also see this level of needing to call a truce in a situation excuse me, as it relates to some sort of mixing and matching, trying to find the compromise. And by finding the compromise, then a, tru a truce can be uh, put out there. And then the magician comes in, and then the magician is like basically saying, Virgo, that, you know, what you think about, you bring about. So what this is telling me, Virgo, is just be really, really careful with the type of energy that you put out there, the type of energy that you share with people, the type of energy as far as, you know, do what you say and say what you do. Um, pulling one over on somebody is not going to go well for you, Virgo, or it's not going to go well for this other person. There's going to be a lot of anxiety associated with it, a lot of regret, a lot of pain and a lot of loss. But let's see what we got going on with your psychic downloads. Some people will get psychic downloads and some people won't. Um, but I'm, I'm feeling you've got a couple coming in here. Yeah, you know what, Virgo, I think what happened here is you took a risk. You took a risk on a situation. You decided, well, I can get away with it. Um, it's not really going to be much of a loss if anything were to be found out anyway. But it turned out, Virgo, that... Um, either you or someone else who took this risk, um, it was a very risky move because it changed the energy. And now it feels as though you've got this weird cycle that you're dealing with. Okay, let me see what else I'm getting here. 
you know, the thing about it is, Virgo, is you might have to tell something to someone that is not what they want to hear. And um, you're going to have to do this very gently. And you're going to have to make sure that you don't cause um, a lot of commotion with it. You don't You're going to have to give a reason why you're making the choice you are, Virgo. And what I'm hearing is, is that you're either going to let somebody down gently or someone's going to let you down gently or you're going to have to say, hey, I saw this the other day, I saw that the other day. And then you're going to have to be prepared to give the detail and the evidence because that is what's going to be required. Okay, that's just what I'm getting. I know it's a little bit strange. <laughs> But it's coming up here, all right, Earth signs. So there you go. I wish all of you the best. Much light, much love, and many blessings. Namaste.